because I am going to do a hair tutorial. Um, now, as you can as you can see, this is my crazy hair. Like, uh, hello, look at the back. It's frizzy, it's curly, and it's just unmanageable unless I put some like curling cream thing in it, which um should be somewhere here. I can't find it, but yeah, unless I put something like that right after I wash it then it's just gonna look like this. So this is completely air dried and usually I just, I'm lazy. I just keep it like this and just tie it into a bun or just ponytail, whatever. But I also make an effort some days and try to do my hair by using a blow dryer. I really don't like um, flat ironing my hair because I can smell the hair burning and it takes a long time to do. So I prefer to do it with a blow dryer. Now, you ideally you want to do this after you wash your hair uh, when it's about 90% air dried or dried with a blow dryer obviously. And then you can just um, go right ahead and do this. But today I washed my hair yesterday or the day before and uh, for the purpose of the video I'm just gonna show you on my dry hair but ideally you would have a bit of moisture so you don't completely damage your hair. Um, so you need a few items. You need a really good blow dryer. I am using the Philips uh, Pro Care 2300 watts. Um, this has a couple of settings and um, yeah, and it also has the cool uh, setting, which I mean, to be honest, I never get cool air from that. So, yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, so you need a good blow dryer with this um, attachment, which is this um, little attachment. And then you also need a round brush. Now, this is the Models Prefer Professional from... Price line and it's about I want to say two inches in diameter or a little bit less, but yeah, you can use a smaller brush because you know obviously this is too much because I have um, less hair, like shorter hair. You can use a smaller brush than this. Don't use anything bigger than this because um, yeah, I don't know. It just if you have longer hair, for sure go um, go for a bigger brush. And then I usually use these little um, clips where you can just put it in your hair and keep it in place. And I also use a little clip just in case, so you know, if there's some stray bits that I can um, put it out of the way. Now, you don't need a comb or anything, maybe you can use it afterwards. I usually don't put any products in my hair, but make sure your hair is damp so you don't damage it completely. Um, so, first of all, what I'm going to do is to separate my hair. Now, go right above the ears and draw a line like that. And keep this bit out of the way using the clip. So you have all this to work with. Now, since working with short hair is a bit difficult, um, now if you had longer hair, you can just separate it like that, but it's a bit difficult with short hair. so. Make sure you keep this bit out. You can use an extra clip, but I'm not going to bother. Um, now you can divide this into two sections, which is what I'm going to do, and use the little clip to secure that onto your head. And you have this section to work with. Now, before I put the blow dryer on, because it's going to be very noisy, I'm going to show you the motion that I'm going to use. Now, you need both of your hands to do this, and trust me, practice makes it perfect, okay? So, if you don't get it the first try, don't worry. Keep doing it, and uh, you'll get better each day, okay? So, don't give up. I know it's harder to manage two things at once, but don't give up. And I am not a professional. I don't know how to do it properly. This is just the way that I've learned to do it, and it works for me. It might take a little bit of time than how the professional do it, but hey. If it works for you, that's all that matters. So you're gonna use your right hand or your left hand, whichever you prefer. And comb your, uh, actually you wanna comb your hair beforehand. If you can, I usually don't, I just run this. And then you wanna just 
roll it under the hair and just keep rolling it until you get a really good grip and you can see the bristles coming out which makes the hair strands separate and it straightens really really well so get a really good grip like that okay and I hold my blow dryer with my right hand because I'm right handed so you can choose whatever you want to do and I hold my brush with my left hand okay now you can move this up or down or sideways wherever you want to do and you want to put this little thing onto it directly like that okay and what you're gonna do is just put it directly like that and then pull it down pull it down slowly okay then you'll get straight hair now that's the whole motion we're gonna do to our whole head but I'll start the blow dry it's gonna be loud I'll fast forward and put some music but you guys will be able to see what I'm doing okay here we go one minute that section is done and you can see how it is straight you can put this turn it in doing that or turn it out or just do it straight down which uh, straight down is what I like to do usually now I'm going to complete this section and I'll come back to show you the top okay so I completed that section now you can see how awesome it looks it doesn't help that I'm wearing a blue color top but you can see that it is straight. It's not frizzy anymore. This is exactly what we want. Now, you can leave that part like that and then take down the top. Now you can go another round and then separate it, but what I usually like to do is just, because I usually part my hair this way, so I like to take sections either side and do it that way. So I'm just gonna run my finger like this separate another section and clip the other hair back and we're going to use the same motion to um, blow dry these straight nice and straight so I am just gonna keep dividing sections now I'm gonna do this side away and divide it into two parts put the little clip and then do this side final result such a drastic difference I must say and I love wearing my hair like this because it's so easy and quick to do and it has so much volume it's not like when you um, straighten it with a hair straightener or flat iron whatever you want to call it it is just oh, look at the body it's very it's really it has a lot of volume and it's straight and it's really fluffy and soft so there you go guys that is my hair blow drying 
tutorial i hope you guys like this um please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to show me support because i absolutely adore you guys and uh, i can't wait to do uh, much more amazing videos for you guys i hope you have a good day Mwah. bye